Okay, I spent some time on Pinterest and I um, picked my colors of my rooster and I am laying down my layers of ink tents now. I've activated the lagoon color for his tail feathers and three different yellows for his neck feathers. Um, activated his tail with Chinese ink and Payne's gray alternating and I'm going to go over all of these with pencils as I color him. And right now I thought I'd just do a quick activate YouTube on his face. I have used um, Chili Red on his big red area. I used um, number 600 for this inner kind of a brownish red. I used Lagoon 810 which is the same color as feathers around the eye. And then the beak is the three yellows that I used in these feathers, which is Sienna Gold 240, Mustard 700, and Sun Yellow 200. So um, what I do is I usually have, even though I'm using a water pen, a water brush um, that you the water flows out of, um, I can usually get that started. I like having a little bit of water. This is just a little plastic box that um, some business cards came in once upon a time. And I use that too because sometimes, as you see, I have several colors in a tight space. I may want to rinse some color off. And then I also have, over here a little bit out of sight, is a paper towel. And the paper towel I can blot excess water on or blot color on. So um, just a couple little things that I have on hand whenever I'm... I'm coloring so we're gonna start around the eye and if you have a water brush that has a rapid flow and you feel frustrated with that gravity is a factor in that so I use an artboard everything's on an artboard um, change the angle tilt your artwork towards you raise the level of your brush um, that can slow down the flow of your water brush and you might be able to continue using it rather than then replace it especially if it has a tip that you like um, all right so we've activated the lagoon you see how much brighter that is oh, I love ink tents it's so fun now this is gonna be the color 600 in the ink tents I have a full set um, one thing I learned by watching some other YouTubes about ink tents is that if you are familiar with mixing your own paint colors, which I am not, <laughs> but if you are, or if you've studied it mixing your own colors a little bit, you actually can get away with a set of 12. Because if you have the set of 12 ink tents, apparently that is your basic colors and from within having that 12, you can create, if you're knowledgeable, any color that you may need. And you see if I'm gonna wipe right here and that's gonna blend those colors in just a little bit because I don't want it to be too harsh right here. Maybe just right there. And then I have some more, that same color over here before I clean my brush and do my bright chili red. And a little bit of patience and making sure that you um, already know how much water is coming out of your brush before you get to those little narrow places will help you control not making too much of a mess because painting can be messy. I'm not a super perfectionist but I do prefer it not to get too messy or outside my lines, even though I am going to go over with pencil. We can see that chili red is a much brighter, more vibrant. And just be careful around my yellow. And you don't have to use your ink tents in a way like I went ahead and I just colored. I use them like regular colored pencils. I went over the paper with the pencil and then I am activating it as you see. But some people 
you can actually touch your water brush to the tip of your sharpened ink tents pencils and completely skip the step of coloring the page and just paint the page if you like. That does work really well. And uh, I, I do that sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes I will. It's like skipping a step to just touch the pencil and then touch the paper with your water brush. Um, it, it does give a different, more watercolor effect because instead of the color being even like it is now, like I colored it on here all evenly, um, you get more of that watercolor effect as you move the color around with water, um, you'll have the lighter and darker values if you're touching your water brush to the pencil and applying it directly to the paper in that manner. So it does give you a, a really different look, which I am not demonstrating right now, but maybe I will in the future. Now I have to be really careful because I don't want red on his beak. But see with the darker red area, see I can touch all of that with a little bit of the chili red and it's fine. It doesn't change anything. Okay, and so this is why I have my water here. And then I brush my brush on my paper towel to make sure there's no red left in it. And then get it started again before I go to my beak because I do not want any red in my beak. So, and I'd already put a dark bit of the mustard down here on the mouth line so the bottom would be a little bit. My brush was a little wet and then I can just dab that for the excess water so my paper doesn't wrinkle too much. So there you have it. Mr. Fancy Rooster now has his ink tense layer on his face. I hope you enjoyed the video.